After completing the wilderness as a hardcore Iron Man, there was only one goal even more extreme. Completing the Grandmaster combat achievements while being locked to PvP worlds. And whoever PKs me will receive the bounty of over 2 billion GP. In this episode, I want to make as much progress as possible while being hunted by the best hunters in the game. And let me tell you, this is the most insane video that I've ever made. Okay, so my task right now is still Dagonauts and even though I will have to get the Berserker Ring at some point, I'm gonna finish off this task at the small Dagonauts because if I go back to DK's right now, I'm gonna die. And there we go, task completed, so let's get a new one. Ooh, Bloodfeld. Okay, that's probably the safest task and it should also be really good XP. Okay, this is actually crazy good for XP and that's nice because I still want to get my defense to at least 80 because with people like West Ham hunting me, I feel like... I'm gonna need it. And task completed. And I'm actually gonna do something now that I should have done a long time ago, which is unlocking Lizardman as a task, because eventually I'm gonna need a Dragon Warhammer. Alright, there we go. Lizardmen are now unlocked. Let's see what the next task is. Hellhounds. Okay, that's a nice one because it's good XP and it's also relatively close to the bank here. 77 defense. And that's another task completed and I still haven't seen any scouts or PKers, so let's keep going. Ooh, Black Dragons. Okay, this is an interesting one. Now there's actually quite a few tasks for the King Black Dragon and I want to get these out of the way as soon as possible. But first we need to do a little bit of preparation. Okay so obviously I'm gonna need anti-fire potions which means I need blue dragon skills and I actually found a really interesting spot to get these. Alright, that is all the blue dragon scales. And now we got some anti-fire potions, so it is time for the kingback dragon. Alright, here we go, let's get as many tasks done as possible and hopefully not die. Wait, I spent all this time getting anti-fire potions and I forgot to bring one. I'm such an idiot sometimes. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> I guess this time I forgot about using the shield. Okay, this time I did use protection and that is also a task completed. Beautiful. Alright, so this task is getting a kill with a stab weapon and luckily I got a pretty decent one. And that should be it. Yeah, very nice. That is 10kc which is another task. And sadly, this is the final kill of the Slayer task. We did manage to complete all the combat achievements except for two, so that is not bad at all. Dagonauts again. Oh man. I mean, I still need the Berserker Ring, so I guess we have to go back to DK's. Honestly, this might be one of the scariest places in the game for me, because if I get teleblocked here, it's literally game over. No! That's our second warrior ring and it's actually the same drop rate as the berserker ring, so this hurts. No, what? I just got a back-to-back -back warrior ring. Nah, that's honestly not even funny. I know that I don't even deserve the B-ring yet, but still this is playing with my emotions. That's 50 Rex KC. No, I just misclicked my teleport. Oh, that is so annoying. Honestly, I don't want to go back right now, so I guess we do a little bit of barrows. And we get... Nothing, 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 nothing. And no items in this session, but that's okay. Let's do something else. And 60 farming, and this is kind of big because I can now grow yew trees and I got a lot of those seeds in the bank because I did so many revenants and larynskis, so the farming level should go up really fast now. 
But anyway, it's now time to train a skill that is going to be incredibly important, which is agility. And the reason is that having higher agility allows me to do certain bosses, but it also means I get marks of grace and I'm going to need those to make stamina potions because that is going to be an absolute game changer. 62, 63 and 64 agility and I need to take a break from this because I can assure you doing rooftops with full focus is not enjoyable at all. Ooh, okay, that's a good teleport because he was in some decent gear. Okay, I'm actually gonna go straight back because there's no way he's still waiting. He actually is there. Man, I just want to plant my tree. And this time we actually made it to our tree and that's 62 farming which is kinda big because I can now grow snapdragons and I'm obviously gonna need a lot of super restores in the future. And that's another 15 chests without an item but I'm not gonna complain because we are gonna go to the DKs now and we're gonna get a berserker ring. Man, I am gonna be so happy when we get to the berserker ring because it's so good and I hate this place so much. And sadly that is another task done without the B ring and I know that I could stay off task but I don't wanna be in this place for too long. Man, I keep getting this task and I don't wanna do it but I guess I'll give it one try. Okay, I regret this. This is a horrible task. Why are these even in the game? And task completed and it's fair to say that I am never doing these again. Okay, now we're talking this is a beautiful task 78 defense task completed and i wish these would last longer because they are so good for xp dagonauts again okay i don't want to do a full task at the dk's but i got a plan Alright, so I lowered my task to 25 and I'm gonna finish off the task at Dagonaut Rex now and hopefully the hunters don't know that I'm going there. Ooh, that is two rings of life and three warrior rings now. But it's fine because we also got a clue scroll. And that's another Dagonaut task completed with sadly no B ring. Oh my god. He scared me so much. Why? What is he doing there? And there we go. That is our daily agility level. Very nice. No, that's the dry streak ended. But sadly, it's a horrible item. Come on, man. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna stop complaining. I'm gonna stop complaining because this is an amazing item. And this means that the Dagonai is getting replaced because Arams is better mage attack bonus and also better defense bonuses and that is massive for tanking peak ears. Okay, this was actually a scary step, so let's get out of here. Casket? Alright, if this is blessed eye chaps, this is an amazing day. Um, what? <laughs> that is something. Oh... That actually scared me. Why is there someone there? That is so random. Anyway, it's now time to get stamina potions, which is gonna be huge because the more I can run, the faster I progress and the less time I have to spend in dangerous areas. And the way I get most of my herbs is from the kingdom, so let's see how many we can collect right now. Ooh, okay, that's a nice amount of herbs and those tea cloaks are also gonna be really nice later on, but anyway, let's have a look at the bank. Man, look how many herbs I got just from the kingdom and some wilderness bosses. Anyway, the starting level is 69. Let's make some potions. Level 70, 71, 72 and 73 herblore, which is the last level we need. And the agility is paying off as well because that is a bunch of MLAs. Let's make some staminas. Man, I have played this account for one year without staminas, so making these feels amazing. There we go, that is 350 staminas and now we can do something really cool and look at this that is a stamina pool mate and this is gonna be amazing for doing stuff like barrows and honestly i think it's time to make our house 
even better. And I still got a bunch of mahogany antique logs in the bank so let's make some planks. And all the planks have been made so let's start building. 75 and 80 construction and now we can make some really cool things. That's a gilded altar which is gonna be huge in the future and a rejuvenation pool which is gonna be even better for PVM activities. And that is a fancy jewelry box and this might be the biggest upgrade because look at all these teleports, that is amazing. Oh, okay, that is wiggled. I I was gonna buy some roses to make my house look better, but maybe I don't need them. Let's go back to Slayer. Also, a massive thank you to the people who contributed to the bounty and if you want to make it even bigger, check out the description. Oh, gargoyles. Okay, that's actually the first time I get these on this account, so that's kind of interesting. And we got the brittle key, which means we now have access to the bosses and I'm not gonna do them right now, but the next task I get, we're gonna go there. Oh, and we got the granite mall as well and... I'm not sure if this has any uses in PVM, but I guess we'll find out in the future. And we also got a clue scroll. Man, I am getting blessed. Task completed and honestly, this was a really enjoyable one. Um, is that a scout? Okay, we got the lizardman task, which is exciting, but also a bit scary because I have never gone to the shamans before. Anyway, it's time for a clue scroll. Casket? Sad scam game. Okay, now as you can see, an update is about to happen and I'm gonna use this to my advantage because I need to do something kinda scary. Now, the reason why I'm here is because I wanna finish off all the combat achievements for the Chaos Elemental. More specifically, I need to get 25kc and do one kill without taking any damage. Alright, the update just happened and my friend lured the Chaos Elemental to the safe spot, so let's Let's do this. And all I do now is tank one hit and I should get the kill credits. Alright, it is dead and we get the kill credits. Beautiful. Now ideally I don't log out while doing this because if I do the high scores update and the hunters will know that I'm here and that could be really bad. That is 10kc which is a task and we also got an elite clue scroll. Alright, 20kc so we just need five more kills no i i had to log out it most likely wasn't a peak here but i can't risk it all right i gotta be smart and leave now because if the hunters see the high scores updates they can be here in a few minutes okay listen i'm gonna do something potentially stupid because i'm gonna go straight back and the reason is that i just need three more kills so maybe i can get it done before they realize Okay, that's one kill, 24kc, we just need one more kill. And there it is, 25kc, and that is the task completed. Man, this got way too stressful. I know that I still got one task left, but I am leaving this place for at least a couple of days. Now it turns out that I just got super lucky because as my friend Simeon was running out of the wilderness just behind me, he got hit by Sea Engineer himself and I'm pretty sure that West Ham was gonna be there as well, so I just dodged a massive bullet. Okay, it is time to start our Lizardman task now and I'm gonna start off with the small ones because before going to the Shamans, I need some Shazian favor. And I'm actually gonna do these in multi because it's way faster but it also makes it a bit scary. Now honestly, it would be amazing if I could get the Xerix Talisman from these because that makes teleporting around current so much nicer. And there we go, task completed, no Talisman sadly but let's get out of here. Lizardman again i mean i guess we get some more favor oh we got it the xerix talisman man this is honestly kind of big 
and task completed and it's kind of funny that i'm 95 slayer and i've only done 30 non-wilderness tasks anyway the talisman is now charged and look at all these teleports that's gonna be so useful in the future hellhounds okay i love getting these 79 defense and we got a heart glue as well casket and nothing Wait, that is C Engineer who just scouted me, so I'm expecting him or another hunter to log in any second now. Okay, there it is. That is Wiggled in Max, and this was actually close because I almost killed the Hellhound. Alright, I'm gonna go straight back because surely they don't expect this, right? Okay, that is script and this was actually really close. I honestly don't know how they time it so well. Anyway, I am not going back there right now, so let's do something else. 66 agility and I really want to go to bed now. Okay, why is C Engineer scouting my farm run? I, I actually don't know, but I assume they're up to something. Clue scroll? Casket? I knew it. I knew he was gonna try it. That is exactly why I prayed Melee. And the reason why I was expecting this is because when C Engineer played his PvP hardcore, I tried to do the exact same thing to him. Alright, task completed and it's fair to say that this was an eventful one. Abbey Demons, okay, that is a decent task. It actually is kinda scary to do a task here because if I get full beats, I need a freeze to escape them okay i just got scouted and this is the last place where i want to get hit so we're getting out okay so i want to finish off this last chaos elemental task and before going there i'm gonna do something really cool so because i did so many revenants i can actually build an obelisk in my house and there it is, oh that looks sick. And because I also completed the Wilderness Heart Diary, I can set the portal to level 50 and teleport straight to the Chaos Elemental, so let's go get ready. Alright, if there's any peak ears near the portal, it's game over. Okay, we're fine, let's do this. Okay, all I need to do for this task is hitting the Chaos Elemental while making sure it can't hit me just like this and this should be the final hit and that is indeed the task completed and this is big because this means we've now completed all the combat achievements in the wilderness and that being said let's get the hell out of here that's 67 agility and i think it's now time we go finish off the abbey demon task Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest of the task here in the Abyssal area and this might be a mistake because if I get teleblocked here, I am literally stuck. 80 defense, that is a beautiful level and I might actually try to get 99 strength now. And that is the task completed. Skeletal wyverns, okay that is kind of interesting because there is a tiny chance of getting a draconic visage and that would be insane. Wait. I just completed a combat task and I have no idea how, but I guess I'll take it. Okay, I might be biased here, but why can't we use a looting bag everywhere on a PvP world? Because in my eyes, that is literally high risk, high reward, but maybe I am missing something. And there we go, skeletal wyverns completed. And that is 68 agility, and even though I love doing rooftops, let's do some barrows in instead. Alright, here we are and the items we want to get are some tank legs or a tank helm. Let's do this. Wait, I think that's Pimpact. But I should be fine now. Yeah, he, he can't attack me. I'm still gonna try to just get out, so I guess we'll have a tank test. Okay, I'm frozen. Oh man, that is some crazy gear. 
Ooh, that's a volatile and no hits. Thank God. Alright, we should be out here. Yes, we are. <sighs> okay, even though Barrows is kinda safe, <laughs> this is still really intense. Okay, do we get rewarded for doing a tank test? I mean, not really, but I guess we're going back to Slayer again. Kel fights, nah, that's, that's horrible. These are getting blocked. There we go. And we get Dagonauts. Okay, that is amazing. This means that tomorrow we're going to the DKs. Oh, that is Pimpact again. Wait, there, there's more of them, but I think I can just use the tree. Wait, what? It doesn't let me. It doesn't let me. Why can I not use the tree? Oh my god. This is actually bad. Please go under him. Bro, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm so dead. I am so dead. I actually don't know what to do now. I think I need to run, but I don't know where to. I can't do this, there, there's too many of them and they can just pass me around. And I'm taking so much damage. I am so dead, I'm, I'm gonna try to run but there is no way. Okay, maybe I can log out, maybe. Please. No. No, it's over. It's over. I need to freeze him. That's my last option. Oh my god. We need we need a last hit. We got it. My god, that's insane, we survived.